Proverbs 27 contains wise counsel concerning pride, relationships, and the value of a man. But there are two verses that I believe are directed specifically toward men, verses 15 and 16. And keep in mind they're written by a man who the Bible says has 700 wives and 300 concubines. Verse 15 begins, a continual dripping on a very rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. Whoever restrains her restrains the wind and grasp oil with his right hand. So guys, I don't know about you, but when a man with King Solomon's combined wisdom and experience concerning women speaks, I'm listening. And here's what I believe he's saying. God didn't design women to be controlled by men. God designed women as helpmates, as complements to men, not under the authority of men in general, but under the authority of their own husbands. Women are equals, yet submissive to the authority God has placed in their lives, just like we are. And we should be good and godly examples to them as we daily submit to Jesus. The Apostle Paul said a woman should respect her husband in the role that God has given him in marriage. But men, we need to be a husband that's worthy of that respect. And one of the ways that we earn respect is loving our wives as Jesus loved his church and gave himself up for her. See, it's not power and control that make a marriage work. It's love, respect, and mutual submission. Solomon, in his wisdom, says, men, be careful who you marry. In a previous proverb, Solomon said, the man who finds a wife finds a treasure and he receives favor from the Lord. So the answer, guys, is whatever you do, don't take a contentious woman as your wife. And don't make your wife contentious by not giving her all the love she needs and deserves. A dripping roof is a problem that can bring structural damage and great annoyance. But if treated rapidly and rightly, it can provide safe shelter from any storm. Men, let's invest in our wives, fix problems quickly, and love our wives abundantly.